The fishing industry is one of the largest economic sectors that significantly contributes to Namibia's gross domestic product. Today on One spoke to two fishermen who both lost their jobs in 2015 and have seen struggle to make a sustainable income to fend for their families. My wife is working, but her salary cannot maintain the whole family. My child was in school. Now he does not go anymore because we cannot afford it. We have an older one who used to go with taxi, but at times we cannot afford it anymore. So I used to wake up early in the morning to escort him to school. I am seven years behind with paying for the house, and I have been living here about 13 years now. At least, the landlord allowed us to stay here without having to pay the rent. As it has been long and difficult for us, now living without an income, we applied for the 750 and we didn't get it. We are unemployed with my wife. We do not earn any income. I try my best to go to the north and harvest to bring my family food. I cannot afford to buy bread for all these kids. As you can see, I have a lot of kids and all of them go to school. I thank God that they are able to go to school because I cannot afford to feed them at all. Student bodies such as the Namibia National Students' Organization have raised concern over the introduction of e-learning, especially in public schools situated in vulnerable economic communities where access to electricity and information and communications technologies are a daily challenge. Today on One spoke to a young student who says that he struggles to cope with the new e-learning education system due to the financial situation faced by his parents. Usually when my dad was, was working, I, I usually had enough food, uh, shoes, uh, every time I used to get new shoes. But now when he lost his job, now he's at the field. Now I only got one school shoe pair in, in one year. So when he was working, um, I usually went with uh, transport to school every day. Now sometimes I'm working because there's no money, it's only mom that's working and she gets a really, <coughs> she gets a really small amount and yeah, I'd really like my dad to start working again so that I can go at school every time so I, I'm not even concentrating nicely because when I usually go to school I'm working and then when I get to school I'm already tired. So this e-learning is actually great but the thing is I don't have a... I have a smartphone, but it's not regularly a proper smartphone. It's like from 2018 when my mom gave my, it was my mom's first, first phone, so she gave it to me. But now it's not working nicely. I got a new battery in it, but it's also dying. So I really hope that my father, the, person, the people on the field at the field, can really get a job and work out for their families, buy food, put bread on the table, and so. Out of a total of 543 employees who have been retrenched due to reasons related to COVID-19, the Rongo region has already reported a worrying figure of 131 employees who have been retrenched. The retrenchments were recorded mainly in the mining and quarrying sectors of the economy.